Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give another example on first shifting term of Laplace transformations. See, already in earlier videos, we discussed some problems on first shifting theorem. Today, I will give some more examples. Okay. So, before starting of this problem, I want to remind you statement of the first shifting theorem. See, by first shifting theorem. on Laplace transform L of e power a t into f of t. Suppose we have to find out the Laplace transformation of a function which is of the form e power a t some exponential function into some function then only we can apply first shifting theorem do not forget it. What is the result function of s minus a what is f of s where f of s is nothing but Laplace transformation of this function f of t ok. So, first of all we have to choose what is f of t in the given problem. Now, let us see this problem clearly here we are observing that given problem is in the form of e power a t into f of t. So, that is why let us take f of t as cos root t ok simple thing product of the exponential term can be taken as f of t. Now, we are going to find out the Laplace transformation of this function, but we do not have the formula of L of cos root t because we have the formula for L of cos a t only what is L of cos a t s by s square plus a square everybody knows it, but we do not have the formula for L of cos root t that is why here I am using the Maclaurin series expansion of cos x. So, according to the Maclaurin series expansion everybody knows that cos x is equal to 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial minus 1 I will write the general term also which is minus 1 whole power whole power n. So, whenever you are getting alternate positive and negative in the series you will get minus 1 whole power n into x power look at the powers of x 2 4 6 and so on which is an even power and uh, denominator also even factorial that is why I will write 2 n whole factorial plus so on up to infinite number of terms. So, cos x can be written as I will write the short form of this series just write a sigma representation of this nth term this general term summation n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 whole power n x power 2 n whole by 2 n whole factorial. Similarly, f of t is equal to cos root t replace x is equal to root t in this one you will get summation n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 whole power n into what is x root t root t whole power 2n. So, root whole square gets cancelled. So, simply you have t power n by 2n whole factorial. So, this is the Maclaurin series expansion of cos root t. Now, I will take the Laplace on both sides. So, L of f of t is equal to sigma is the constant of summation n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 whole power m by 2n whole factorial this entire term is the constant term. So, directly apply the Laplace to t power n L of t power n. So, since n varies from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on it means that n is a positive integer that is why L of t power n can be written as what is the formula for L of t power n n factorial by s power n plus 1. So, you can say this is function of s. Now, write the statement of the first shifting theorem and uh, you can apply this theorem to given problem. So, similarly L of e power minus t into cos root t becomes function of s minus what is a value? Here we have e power minus t e power minus t instead of e power a t. So, a is equal to minus 1 replace a is equal to minus 1 you will get 
f of s plus 1. What is the mean by f of s plus 1? In this function of s, whenever we have s, blindly replace it by s plus 1. So, you will get summation n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 whole power n by 2n whole factorial into n factorial by here we have s, replace it by s plus 1, s plus 1 whole power n plus 1. This is the application of first shifting theorem. I will give some more examples now, see. This is the next example, find Laplace of e power minus 3t sin 5t into sin 3t. We have to find out the Laplace transformation of this function, okay. So, clearly here also we are observing that given function is in the e power at into f of t form. So, first of all, every student should identify what is the structure of the given function inside the Laplace, okay. If it is in the form of e power at into f of t, surely we have to apply only first shifting theorem on Laplace transform, okay. So, first of all, we have to take what is the function of t here. So, product of exponential term which is sin 5t into sin 3t. This entire function can be taken as f of t. Here f of t is equal to sin 5t into sin 3t. So, what is its Laplace transformation? L of sin 5t into sin 3t. So, since this sin 5t and sin 3t are in product, we cannot apply the linear property. We cannot separate the terms by using linear property, okay. By apply, to apply linear property, to apply linear property, terms should be separated by addition otherwise subtraction, okay. That is why we can apply the trigonometric transformation formula, okay. You know that there are four trigonometric formulae, uh, four trigonometric transformation formulae which are 2 sin a cos b, it would be sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. Second one, 2 cos a sin b. Third one, both are cos functions in product. Next, 2 sin a sin b. Okay. So, what are the results? If it is 2 cos a sin b, then we have to write sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b. Next, this formula are very very important, 2 cos a cos b, cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. Next, cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. Okay. Here given problem is sin a sin b. So, to apply this formula, the terms should have 2 in the product. That is why I will multiply this term with 2 and divide with 2. Do not forget it. Now, it is in the form of 2 sin a sin b. So, last formula is applicable here. We have to apply the last formula. So, maybe in the given problem, here one sin and cos here in product, one cos and sin are product here, maybe two functions are in, in the product of two cos terms, okay. So, L of sin of, sorry, we have to write last one, cos of A minus B, 5T minus 3T, it would be 2T minus cos of A T. This model is very, very important, surely you will get one person in the product of trigonometric functions in our semester examinations, okay. So, off into what is L of cos 2t? It is in the form of L of cos a t. S by S square plus 2 square, it would be 4 minus S by S square plus 8 square, it would be 64. You can say this is f of s because both are in the form of L of cos a t. So, S square plus s by s square plus a square. Now, according to the first shifting theorem, please write the statement of the first shifting theorem. We know that first shifting theorem on Laplace, we have L of 
e power a t into f of t is equal to function of s minus a. So, similarly L of what is the given problem e power minus 3 t into sin 5 t into sin 3 t is equal to function of what is a value here? Here we have e power minus 3 t instead of e power a t. So, what is a value? a value is minus 3. So, you are getting f of s plus 3. So, replace in this function of s means in this function whenever we have s blindly replace it by s plus 3 that is the result. I will write the result here See. So, of into s plus 3 by s plus 3 whole square plus 4 minus s plus 3 by s plus 3 whole square plus 64 enough okay this is the result of the given problem okay do not forget one important thing Laplace transform reduces the function of t into function of s your final result should be in terms of s only still t is present in this solution your problem will be completely wrong okay I will give another example on this model C. See the next example find L of e power 4 t into cos 3 t into cos 2 t. So, here also given function is in the form of e power a t into f of t. So, first of all we have to choose what is the function of t in this problem. So, here f of t is equal to cos 3 t into cos 2 t. So, what is L of f of t? L of cos 3 t cos 2 t. So, here also two function, two trigonometric functions are in product. Whenever two trigonometric functions especially sin or cos terms are in product, we have to use this trigonometric transformation formula. Okay, otherwise we cannot separate the terms by using linear property. So, both are in, in cos. So, we have to apply this formula. 2 cos a cos b. It would be cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. a value is 3 t b value is 2t but we cannot apply this formula right now here because to apply this formula we should have 2 in the product. So, multiply with 2 and divide with 2 do not forget it. So, half into L of 2 cos a cos b. So, cos of a plus b 3t plus 2t it would be 5t plus 3t minus 2t. So, it would be 2 half into. So, directly by applying Laplace 2 inside L of cos 5t. It would be s by s square plus 5 square. So, it would be 25 plus s by s square plus 1. Okay. You can say this is f of s. Now, by first shifting theorem by first shifting theorem on Laplace transform what is the result L of e power a t into f of t is equal to function of s minus a. Now, write the given problem here and we have to compare this problem with the formula. So, L of e power 4 t into cos 3 t into cos 2 t is equal to function of s minus 4 because here we have e power 4 t instead of e power a t. So, that is why coefficient of t in the power is known as a value which is 4. So, that is why I am replacing a is equal to 4 here. Now, what is f of s minus 4? In this function of s, whenever we have s, blindly replace it by s minus 4. So, you will get half into s minus 4 by s minus 4 whole square plus 25. For example, here we have L of e power t only, then a is equal to 1. So, in such cases, we have to replace s by s minus 1 only, do not forget it. Plus s minus 4 by s minus 4 whole square plus 1. So, this is the result. 
I will give one more example here. You can practice it. So find L of e power t into cos 3t into sin t, sin 2t. You can take it sin 2t. Okay. In the similar way, you have to practice this problem. Thank you very much. In the next video, I will give some more problems on Laplace transformations. Thank you.